Welcome back to Let's Get to the Root of It. So today, we're going to start off, I wanted to talk about the Holy Trinity of herbs. This is what's called the Holy Trinity. It's garlic, onions, and basil. And those are fantastic. I'm half Italian, so we eat, we use all of those in the Italian cooking, which is just incredible. But today, what we're going to make is a mustard plaster. And so we're not going to, we won't be using our basil. And I'm back here again with Jesse and Jocelyn, two of my students that I'm so happy to have with me today. So if you can just put those over there for me. So what we want to do, and we talked a lot about maceration, right? We've been talking about to get the healing properties out of the herbs, you really want to break them up. So we can either break them up in our blender or our food processor, or we can break them up in the good old pharmacy mortar and pestle. So what you do with the garlic, we want to just get the skin off from our garlic. And we just put it in our mortar and pestle. And uh, if you would do me the honors of, uh, we've got a little bit here that's not so good in there, so I'm just going to cut that off really quick. And then if you would do the honors of macerating that. And then we're going to take our onion, and we'll peel our onion. Smell the onion. Does it make you cry? If it makes oh. you cry, you know, <laughs> you know you've got a really good onion. So this one, I'm just going to put it right in my blender. I'll put uh, a little bit of water in there with it and just macerate it a little bit this way. So I just want to show you different ways that you can just macerate the herbs, get more of the healing properties out of it. Um, Chop that up really fast. So now that we have that, oh, that looks good. That's great. What we're going to do with this now is we'll put our onions in a pan. We just slightly, by the way, just have a slight bit of water at the bottom of our pan. And we're going to put our onions in that. That was a whole onion. That's a lot of onion. But you, can, you don't have to use all of this at one time. Now that is making me cry. <laughs> Those are good onions. Yeah. Very good onions. And then we're going to take our garlic and put our, take our garlic out of our mortar and pestle. Now, this recipe is a little different because I did add the garlic. You can do this just with onions. A lot of times people just use, uh, you make like a paste. So I'm going to turn this on high. It's going to start boiling. Now, this now, the boiling water part of this, if I was just boiling this, this would be called an infusion because we're using a hot liquid for the medicinal properties of these plants to infuse into that liquid. But we're going to make a poultice. And so what we're going to do with this is we're going to make like a paste. And um, we're going to add about put a couple of tablespoons of the mustard in here. If you don't have powdered mustard, you can just use the regular mustard you have on the shelf. Don't improvise, you know, it's not going to kill you. It might not be as quite as good, but it doesn't matter. So what we're going to do is we're going to let that boil down. And while that's boiling down, let me tell you the next thing that you're going to do. So once this comes out hot, what you will do is you'll put saran wrap on your, or uh, some type of a, I like the saran wrap because it's a, a very heavy, you want to have a little bit of a, a heavy um, wrap. You want something down on their chest. We don't want to put something hot, you know, straight on somebody, or a lot of times these plants can burn a little bit. So we're going to put this down on our chest, and then once this becomes a paste, we'll put some of that paste on our chest. And then if you'll hand me the top two things there, um, you can use, either use, I like using cotton felt cloth that you can place on top of this with a hot water bottle or a heating pad. So you drive those properties into the body. So you're going to start off with saran wrap first. You could put some oil, a little bit of olive oil down if you want that saran wrap to stick to the chest. Then you're going to put the mixture of the um, poultice and put that in the, on the chest over on the saran wrap, and then you'll put this on top. 
and put either a hot water bottle or a heating pad. If you don't have this, you can just use, you know, a, a towel, a, con a cotton towel. Anything you have at home works wonderfully. Now it's been about 10 minutes. We've got our saran wrap over here and just place this warm on top of it. Um, and this is what you would do. Yeah, very good. Like that? Yeah. And so what does this work for? This works when you put it on your chest to pull out. Uh, it's highly antimicrobial to help pull out the microbes and also to open up the lungs and so that kids can breathe better and also to help start loosening that congestion in the chest. So this is good for breathing, for opening congestion, breaking it up, and also it's got antimicrobial effects because anything you put on the skin, that's why it's important to use organic things on your skin, it goes into the body as well. That's excellent, yeah. So my mom, when I was younger, she would actually get a towel and just run the iron over it uh -huh. and put it on our chest and our back and it would really help when we were younger when we yeah. got sick that heat will pull out and help break down that congestion. So it worked. So that costs zero cents, right, to get a towel and, and put that on it, yeah. So what you can do now is put a towel over this, or what we've done here is we've taken a heating pad and we can put a towel around it, or you can put a, um, we have a pillowcase here or any type of cloth, because you don't want to put things directly on the chest and you don't want it to make it real hot. Making it real hot will not help. Having it a nice warm temperature and then you just place it on the chest like this and pu put it for 10 minutes to 30 minutes and also you want to follow that up with a lot of liquids. Uh, a garlic water would be good that you could follow up with because that'll help break down congestion, antimicrobial effects, but a lot of kids don't like garlic water. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our ginger ale, so we're gonna show how to do that. But you wanna make sure that kids are drinking tea, even water, jello, um, to get more uh, hydration. It's really important for children that have colds and congestions and things to get a lot of good liquids in their body. That's how you get to the root of it.